What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna teach you the exact process that I've installed in over 150 different businesses, local service-based businesses to help them generate leads, appointments, and sales leveraging automation using paid ads. So I'm gonna pull up the whiteboard here and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we do this. Let's dive straight in. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you about local lead generation. And specifically, I'm gonna be showing you behind the scenes of this exact process right here, okay? Exactly how we automate automate the follow-up structure for local businesses, get them leads to the door following this simple process. So let me go to the whiteboard here and show you guys what we are actually going to be dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. So getting any local business results, guys, it all comes down to a few variables starting out. Okay. So there's a couple criteria that you want to have, assuming that you have these things right. So you want to be an established business. You've already proven out your offer. You're already selling. You already have customers. You already have case studies. You already have results. If these things are true, then paid ads could be right for you. If not, you might want to stick with organic strategies and grow your business more grassroots until you can put fuel on that fire that already started. Okay, so assuming you have that, a strong foundation, a strong offer to getting new clients, this is the exact system that we use to get results. So there's three types of ads that I'm going to show you right now. And these three types of ads, any local business can run and you can get success with. So check it out. We're going to start with ad number one. Okay, this is the easiest one for anyone to do. An ad one is going to be a happy customer ad. This is going to be something that creates a strong emotional connection for your prospect. So we have our happy customer ad right here. This is just going to be an ad where you have a picture of a happy customer, or maybe it's you with a happy customer. Okay. You guys are both real happy in this picture. Okay. Then we put a banner on this that says peace of mind and whatever industry you're working with. So peace of mind, plumbing, peace of mind, painting, peace of mind, car sales, peace of mind, real estate, anything peace of mind. Okay. And then we put however many customers we've worked with, let's say 20,000 plus happy customers. Okay. The copy for this ad, the, the actual text on the text, you're going to do testimonial. Okay. So you can just go to your Google reviews page, just pick a Google review that stands out that you represents you guys well, and just use that. Okay. So use the testimonial. It'll say, and whatever business was great. You put it in quotations and then sign it as the person's name, person, and their last initial for their last name. Now you have happy customer ad that's just going to generate good results. Okay. This is a simple ad. You can use it to retarget a warm traffic or you can use it on complete strangers in your local audience. Okay. So that's the first kind of ad. Second kind of ad that we're going to run today right here, ad number two, this is going to be even easier to set up than a happy customer image. And this is going to be an IG story text ad. Okay. And what this one looks like is just going to be right here. So we're just going to have the ad and it's just going to say some words here, which I'm going to show you exactly what to say. And then it's going to say click below and it's going to be a swipe up ad. Okay. This is the most simple ad you will ever see. Okay. And the framework for that, I'm going to show you guys right now. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to open Instagram. Okay. You're going to go down here to the, the plus button and you're going to go and make a story. Okay. I'm sure you guys have done this before, right? Once you have the story, you're going to go to create and under create right here, you're going to get this text box. Now I like to make this thing black in the background. So you just click right there and make the background black like that. And then now I'm going to put out my text. Okay. And the text is going to look exactly like this. I'll tell you guys the exact framework. So let me just type it real quick. All right, guys. So this is how we do it. Okay. You're going to make just like this. Okay. So what that says is it says, we're looking for 10 to 15 Denver residents who want to try Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for free. Then you put a couple benefits like great atmosphere, fun, exciting, engaging thing. And then you put a call to action tap below to click now. Okay. We've done this for dealerships. We've done this for gyms. We've done this for my own agency. This model is proven. And if you guys give me a second, I'll actually show you an example of how this worked and a case study of exactly what this ad looks like. So I'll show it to you live in action. I told you guys this was going to be value packed today. Okay. So let me just pull this up and, uh, and show you exactly what we've got here too. This is one of these ads in action, an Instagram story based ad. Okay. So right here, looking for 15 men in Westminster to try Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, 30 days free on sign up. Then when they click, they go to this form. Do you have any Jiu Jitsu experience? Experience, I say yes. And then I go in and I, I can submit my details. Once I submit my details, I'll be redirected to the next part of our phase here, which I'll show you, but this is how we get them. Okay. So this, uh, this ad copy, it says looking for something to do in the Westminster area. We're looking for 10 to 15 motivated individuals that want to build discipline and confidence all while having fun and getting exercise to try our Brazilian Jiu Jitsu program. Click below to see why so many are getting hooked on this extraordinary art form that is currently the number one fastest growing sport in the world. Sign up and get your first class free. 
and then we've got the address in there and everything like that okay and let me show you what the results of that brings okay anybody can show you how to run an ad you, a copy and paste this ad but let me show you the results that we actually got from that uh this is super exciting stuff guys so with that jiu-jitsu academy specifically logos jiu-jitsu here in denver i was actually able to help them to add 164 members on yearly contracts and over five hundred and forty thousand dollars worth of new students in one year of using the shift scale system and that's the same system that i'm describing here for you guys so i'm going to keep showing you guys that's a 41 over 41 percent increase in overall revenue that they had and over five hundred forty thousand dollars worth of lifetime value that we generate for them so that is ad number two okay it's a text-based really clear we are looking for 10 to 15 uh location denver you know texas whatever residents who want to take advantage of our offer whatever your offer is insert there here's some benefits click the link below to begin now okay this is the second type of ad that you should put in your arsenal all right guys let's keep moving along here okay ad number three right here this is going to be one of the most important ads you ever run okay this ad is going to help increase your lead quality decrease your no-shows and it has the potential to decrease your lead cost as well if you do this right okay and this third one is the money shot right here 100 percent boom boom so what this third ad is guys this is the viral video ad okay so here's the thing guys there's something to be said about showing face as a business owner especially in your local marketplace and there's something called no like and trust factor where when people see you on content on videos they trust you they know you they start to like you okay people want to do business with people they can trust and people that can bring them an R. ROI. So if you can bring them an ROI, then the content allows you to help uh, build that trust, right? So one thing that you're going to want to do with viral video ads is you're going to have to test a lot. Most people don't hit a home run right out of the gate, but this is the easiest framework. So you either go, you take this little device that you got in your pocket, put that front camera on, and you just say something simple, inviting people to come down. Okay. I know a lot of people have camera fear. I know you're camera shy, but here's the thing. Your competitor can never copy this. What my client says from doing this is he says, people show up every day to the dealership saying, Hey, that's the guy. That's the guy from the video. And they act like they know you. Okay. So people are like antennas. They can feel what you're about when they see your video. So by running video ads, you allow your targeting to get better because you just target more people that are inherently like you. Okay. So the framework is super simple. Just like this. You pull out the camera, you 10 X your energy. Okay. So you don't want to be, Hey guys, welcome to the Denver. Come down here. No, you want to 10 X your energy, right? So you want to come on there and be like, what's up Denver. I'd love to enter. Uh, sorry. So it's not going to be perfect on the first one, right? All right, let's go again. One, two, three. What's up, Denver? I'd love to invite you and your family to a free Brazilian jiu-jitsu class. Uh, we, we have kids classes. We have adults classes. We're trained in five days a week, and you can come visit us at our new Arvada location and get a free trial for you and your family. Just click the link below. Boom. I'll record that video. Maybe a couple variations, couple takes. You send that over to an editor. The editors edit it for you and turn it into short form content. And again, guys, I'm not holding anything out in this video. I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like too. So let me just find uh, an example here. Let me find, let me find, let me find. I'm pulling these live. Okay, so check this out. Class, just click the link below. Providing you in here as a white belt, or if you've already got jujitsu experience, come on in to try our classes. This is what it was. You got vibes for days, people rollers, good energy in here. Come on down, click the link below, sign up for your free trial, come join us down here at Logos Jujitsu. Guys, this ad right here, okay, this ad, and the only other ad we had is, and this ad, the text-based one, and the one that I showed you, those were basically the three to four ads that we ran to generate an extra $550,000, okay? So I think in that year, they put about 15 grand into their ad spend. I can get an exact number. I'll do a full case study breakdown on them eventually, but this is just for the proven ads. These two combinations of ads right here, we didn't even really do much of the ad type number one. It was just two and three, and that literally brought them 164 new students the, the mats were full the classes were packed we had people signing up and coming in every single day which allowed me to actually get other businesses that were interested referrals that would come in and stuff people seeing the effects of my work okay so this is the ads process guys all right so now we've got the ads process down so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna make some space here because i want to show you guys how the funnel looks okay so i hope this is valuable to you right now um and don't even subscribe to this channel please do not subscribe to this channel don't reach out to me don't follow me on any social media until 
you actually apply something that I'm teaching here and you get value from it. At that point, I would love for you to, to hit me up and let me know because I'm here to bring value. I'm here to be one of the best lead generation inbound direct response marketers that the world has ever seen. And I've been quiet. I haven't been making much content. I haven't been doing much stuff because I've been doing the work. Okay. So guys, this is the process. We've got our, we've got our happy customer ads. Okay. Big old smiley face, happy customer ads. We've got our text based ad. I am looking for uh, 10 to 15 Denver residents to do X. Okay. X, Y, Z click below or tap below or swipe below. Okay. Boom. That's our second variation of ad and ad number three, we're doing viral video ads. Okay. And by the way, guys, I know on that video, it wasn't me in selfie style. It's totally fine to have somebody just pull out your phone and just do it right on your phone. You don't need a mic. Sure. You can get one, but you don't need one. Make sure the lighting's decent, 10 X your energy and just go. Some of the ugliest videos that I've ever filmed have ended up being good ads. Okay. So guys, we run this variation right here. Once this is complete. Okay. So we send everybody to a, a landing page with a survey on it. Okay. And we frame this as a quiz. Okay. So there might be four boxes on here, all with pictures in them. And we say, Hey, I'm, you know, business name. And we have the business logo up here, you know, and then we have just a tiny bit of text, not much. Basically it's just the survey. So it's a big quiz and it says one, two, three, you're approved right? Something like that. So for dealerships, we have, um, pick car, truck, SUV. What are you looking for? They can click a picture of an SUV. Okay. And then we take them through, we have about 20 different, uh, questions on this quiz that we actually do. They fill out on this and we get a 20 step application right off social media. So by nature running social media, everybody's on there, the best of the best and the worst of the worst. So you need to make sure you have a good filtration process in place. We frame this through the ads as a quiz. And so it's just, Hey, 60 second quiz to see if you are approved for this offer. Okay. People go there, they fill out the quiz. And once they reply to the quiz, then we start an automated uh, messaging system. Okay. So this is the automated email system that goes out email and text. So we start with one email here. Uh, I call that the brochure email. That's going to give all the welcome information, clarify the offer. That's going to give all that stuff. We send that immediately when they uh, inquire. And obviously people know that emails are automated. So I just do it immediately. Okay. But text, sometimes people don't know texts are automated, right? So what we do is we do a, a text number one first. Okay. And then, uh, cause people double text, right? They say, Hey, this is whoever. And then we do a text number two, about 20 seconds later. Okay. So we double texted them. Cause that's how people really sit by their phone and text. The first text is something like, Hey Nate, thanks for clicking on my ad. When's a good time to reach out and to touch base talk details boss. And then the second ad is something like, or if you prefer, you can just set yourself up for a time with my online scheduler. Okay. And then we send them the scheduling link, which is going to send them here to our online mobile calendar uh, that we have over here. Okay. So I'm going to show you how that comes into play as well. Okay. But we've got the calendar, we've got all the dates, they can go and book themselves. And if you're not using for your business, you're not using an online calendar. You're really, really letting down your audience. Like you want to have a calendar for your people to be able to just go on there pick a time, choose a time, book with you and come in. Okay. So this is easy, actually really easy to do a software. If you're not doing this, you definitely should be you can hit us up. We offer a, a software subscription just for a calendar. Okay. We have calendar, text, email, all under one. Okay. I'm not trying to sell you here, but if you're not using an online calendar, I will, I will give you, if you've seen this video, I will give you an online calendar to use for $1 a month. Okay. We'll install it on your website. Just the calendar, $1 a month. Just email me or a message comment below $1 calendar. Okay. And I'll know what you mean from this video. That's only exclusive through this video. That's the only way you can get that offer. Okay. So this is within the first five minutes. Okay. Email, text, goes out uh, 60 seconds out. And then we have the double text that goes out 20 seconds after. Now we're going to do a call. Okay. So you're going to send it uh, into your CRM, uh, to your sales team, whatever. And you're going to make sure that they call them within five minutes. Okay. If not, that's going to be really bad. Okay. Call if they don't answer, leave them a voicemail message. And you can also do ringless voicemails at this point, guys, if you don't have a call team, you can just place a ringless voicemail there as well. And we do that through my system. It's just a voicemail that lands in their inbox. Their phone shows a missed call. It's a really good play as well. And then after we call them or leave the voicemail, we leave a text, just letting them know it was us that just called. Okay. So that's all within the first like five minutes. And I know you guys might say like, damn, that seems kind of spammy, but you have to make sure your first five minutes, you have the highest chance of getting in touch with a lead. After that, your odds of getting in touch and qualifying them decreases by 80%. And this is actually a shown statistic. And I have another video breaking all that down, but so you got to make sure that you go five minutes, power hour. And the best thing to do is get on this call with them and then connect with them and 
and on the call, you're just going to be moving them to book on the calendar or you're just going to be confirming the date that they've already booked, right? So this is day one, okay? Day one, follow up. Then for days um, two to about day six, we do about the same thing all those days. So we do a text and an email. And actually, I like to do a good morning text. Good morning, just following up from the day before, saw that you requested some information on our XYZ offer. Just wanted to get you that information that you requested, right? But a lot of people don't, you know, if they're not answering um, right away, then you're you're going to have to get in touch with them more. So we do a good morning text, an email, a call, and then maybe you'll a couple days optional, you'll do another text in the evening, but you don't have to. And this is for days two to six. So that means day two, you do a good morning text and you send an email. Day three, you do a good morning text and you send an email. Day four, maybe you do a later in the e afternoon text, you send an email and you send a text later in the afternoon or early evening, right? And I forgot to mention too, every one of those days you're calling the leads at least once in the morning and once at night, okay? It, statistics show that if you don't get in touch with a lead within the first 24 hours, you're gonna have to call them about five to six times on average just to get that qualifying first phone call with them. And it's just because people are busy, guys. It's not personal. They were interested at that moment in time when they were focused on their phone, um, when nobody was bugging them, but then they had laundry and they had emergencies. And if they have kids, it's just hard for them to get back. They have so much noise in their inbox. So that's why I, I know, yes, we're kind of adding to the noise, but we have to stand out. We have to be persistent. And a lot of people will thank you for this too, um, especially when and this is inbound advertising, right? So these are inbound leads reaching out directly to you. So the process is a little bit different there where it's not just spamming a cold list, a cold audience. These are actually people that um, already clicked and, and asked for information. They clicked through your ad, they filled out your quiz. So we really want to get in touch with, you know, for that, right? So there we have it, um, days two through six. And then days uh, seven through 14, what we do is we do uh, what I call the manager check-in text, okay? So this switches the frame and you can even, if you're really savvy, you can use a different phone number altogether. So you would just use a separate phone number and this switches the frame from the manager. And so this text, you start to go and you start to say, hey, um, this, is, uh, this is the general manager, uh, Bob Washington, over here at whatever Chevy. And I noticed that you requested information about a week ago, but it looks like we haven't gotten in touch with you. Did my team follow up and try to get you all the information you requested? Or is there somebody that I have to chew out? Let me know, no problems either way. Boom, they, if they don't respond to that, then we do two more manager check-ins. So our cadence is after two days, you know, we do another manager check-in. Hey, just wanna make sure, have you gotten in touch with from my team? Okay, and if they still don't answer, then it's just like, then we ask the classic, have you given up on getting a new car with us, Tom? Just wanted to make sure. Okay. And you can do this a couple different ways, but when you switch the, the frame from the salesman to the manager, sometimes right here, you'll just be able to get people back into the system. And all of this stuff is to push them to either get on a phone call to reply or to go to the online calendar. Okay. So everything's pushing them to the online calendar, right? Okay. And then if they don't respond after 14 days, then we put them into a 365 day drip campaign where they get a couple of emails, a couple of texts a month, some more aggressive stuff, three months, in, follow up, activation, all that stuff. So we actually do a one year follow up campaign with emails, texts, and it's pretty soft. Like it softens up throughout the time. So we're not just spamming and spamming and loading and paying for all that, right? Okay, guys. So once you have this, this is your basic automation to get appointments booked and you don't have to do it to send them to the calendar. If you have a different process that you use, like you can send people straight to a credit application. If you're a car dealership or an inventory page or, um, you know, a promotion or a product, you you could send them back to, okay, or an offer. You could do all those things, right? So the next part of this process is gonna come after they've booked an appointment. So we send people from the three ad variations to the quiz, they fill out the quiz, and then they go into the calendar. If they just book themselves a time, which a lot of people will, then we will start the automated campaigns for them, get them to um, show up to the dealership or the business or not. So I'm gonna draw a line down here and we have appointment reminder campaigns. This is where you're gonna send them uh, your location, your address, your frequently asked questions, where to park, what to expect, all that stuff. So we send a confirmation message the day of their, them scheduling. Um, we send a reminder the next day, and then we do uh, 24 hours before. We do the morning of, and we do about a, an hour out and 20 minutes out. So it's a pretty advanced appointment reminder sequence, and it's all to see if people show or if they know show, okay? And this is what I'm breaking down right here. It's a little more advanced on this, but I'm just giving you guys a simple version. So they're either going to show 
show or not. So if they show, if they if it's a yes, they showed, then we send them a link to review and we tell them about our referral program. So we send them the Google review link and we ask them for a referral, tell them about the referral program and we put them into a long-term customer nurture sequence. If they no show, we're gonna put them into a no show automation that's going to send them, um, you know, remind them about their appointment, ask them if they're still interested and it's gonna shoot to get them rebooked, okay? The goal is to get somebody through this, get them to show up and get them to leave a review. If you can do that for your business, you're gonna automate so much hassle. You're gonna have new clients landing on your calendar, coming into to your business, leaving you reviews. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's how we automate an entire funnel with this exact program right here. And just so you guys know, we run our entire backend through a tool called Go High Level. And if you're not familiar, Go High Level helps businesses and agencies to absolutely crush their goals and consolidates all your software into one place. So click the link at the bottom of this video if you want to sign up for a free trial of Go High Level, or if you'd like to get access to all these um, different softwares for, for yourself, for your business. So I can actually help you get set up under my Go High Level, or if you're an agency and you want to have your own that you can offer this to your clients, you can get set up with the link below. So last part of this phase, guys, is I just want to share with you the 12 steps of planning this exact system that we went over, okay? The the exact same system that helped Logos Jiu Jitsu make 550,000 and hundreds of other case studies of success, okay? So let me show you about what this is right here. And sorry, my printer was kind of low on ink, so it didn't print that well, but there's 12 steps to having a successful lead generation local campaign. So there's three phases in the 12 steps. Phase one is strategize. Phase two is systemize. And phase three is actually gonna be to scale, okay? And the way that this actually works is when you do these phases right, uh, everything should totally align for you to be able to launch a successful marketing campaign almost right out of the gate. So the first step in phase one is to set a vision, okay? What is the vision of this marketing campaign? What is the goal that you or your client wants to achieve? Where are you taking this thing to the next level? Number two, perform an audit. You're going to audit the your existing business. You're going to audit your competitors. You're going to audit the best in the industry. Um, you're going to audit agencies that work in your field. You're going to audit to try to find the best ads that are running out there, the best funnels, the best ads. And actually all these platforms, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, they all have ads libraries where they'll share with you the most successful ads. They'll share with you running ads, active ads, and you can go in there and you can find proven stuff and you could start with those frameworks and that will help you to be super successful with that. Number three, you structure your offer. What's going to be your offer that you put out there into the world that's going to be super strong, that's going to drive a lot of leads, that's going to drive a lot of traffic, and that's going to drive people to actually book an appointment with you. 20% off, it's not sexy. It's got to be like buy one, get one or something like, you know, get 30 days free, like that kind of stuff. And it can be when they sign up, you don't have to just give everything away for free. So like at the Jiu Jitsu school, we do um, get your first free trial class, come try us out and then get 30 days free when you sign up for a yearly contract, right? So that's how we're selling. Them. So that's the first stage. By here, you should have a good offer, okay? Then we go to um, systemize, okay? And systemize, you're going to integrate the software. That's what we all set up on the back end, the follow-up campaigns and everything. You're gonna craft the campaign, set everything up on, on digital. So you're setting up your ad copy, you're writing the text, you're making the graphics, you're re recording the videos, you're editing them. Automate your follow-up structure, okay? So that's setting up all of these campaigns that we mentioned out here, the long-term drip campaigns, the marketing, the automation, getting all that right. So everything triggers correctly. And then phase three in the scaling phase, you're gonna launch the campaign. You're gonna nurture the leads, okay? That's calling, following up, doing your due diligence with these leads. And then you're gonna refine the results. So get better results over time, okay? And this is the exact 12-step formula that we've used, okay? If you guys wanna learn more about how you can get this installed in your business, um, if you wanna see more free trainings like this, if you like this and you, you wanna see more, just comment below with a topic you'd like me to cover in lead generation and advertising, I'm happy to do so. And really, I appreciate you spending this time with me today. Um, if you want more of this stuff, you want to see our case studies and you want to potentially work together, you can go to Shift that has case studies, trainings, results, and ways to work to reach out to work with us. So thank you so much for spending the time with me. This is my first video ever doing like this, and I think it was really cool. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. Let me know if you didn't. Whatever. I don't carry the way. Just kidding, I do. But not really if you're, you're a hater. It's okay. I'll take constructive criticism. I'll grow from it. But yeah, I, I really hope this was valuable to you guys. And if you want to see more case studies, like how I helped this client make $42,000 off 1800 bucks, and you want to know how you can get some cash money by watching my videos, then click below to subscribe only after I brought you that value. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. I'm out.